Higher. So in the last vid, it was stationary, it was in equilibrium, but this time it's moving down the slope. So I've got my 5G, I've got the components from there with my 30, which if I draw it separately, because I've got more room, So next to the angle is 5G cos 30. Opposite the angle is 5G sine 30. <coughs> now, horizontally it's moving, so it's got acceleration. So you've got F equals MA, where it equals a mass times acceleration. But perpendicular, because it's not bouncing, or it's not burying itself through the floor, it's in equilibrium. Now I want to find out R and A. Ooh, it tells me it's smooth as well, so there's no friction. So if I look perpendicular, so if I do F equals MA perpendicular, then I've got to look at the forces going that way, minus the forces going that way. Oops, more. It's equal to zero because it's in equilibrium. So the force going up is R. The force perpendicular going down is 5G cos 30. So R is equal to 5G cos 30, and it tells you G is 9.81. So I've got to leave an answer to 3 sig fig. So that gives me R out as 42.5 newtons to 3 sig fig. That's what the pack says. <clears throat> and now, now I know what R is. Let's have a look what F equals MA is. Parallel. So I'm looking at the forces going down the slope minus the forces going up the slope is this time equal to MA because it's moving. So the force dragging it down the slope is the 5G sine 30. Now there is no forces pulling it back because it's smooth. There's nothing, you're not holding on to it, trying to stop it from moving. So that's just equal to a mass, which is 5 kilos, times by A. So if I divide the 5s out, I've got my, the 5s go, it's just 9.81 times by sine 30. So then if I work that out, it's 4.91 meters per second squared. So 3 sig fig is my acceleration. There you go. Right, so that's that example done. I'm on 2 minutes 50. I wonder if I can do this one at the same time, Mod. I think maybe I'll have to stop the video. Sorry, everyone. <laughs>